Okay, let's take a look at selection boxes now. There's quite a few big uh, sized selection boxes here. You've got the Guy Fawkes selection box there from Hallmark. Uh, personally, don't know much about that one, other than it's very big, and it's £199.98. Uh, it's only got a low noise rating there, 5 out of 10. Um, so it'll be interesting. It's got ground and aerial, so it says. This Emperor Wax fired this earlier in the year. Fantastic. Um, some really nice cakes in there. Lovely golden cake to finish with. Finale cake. All sorts of bits and pieces in there. Uh, no wheels though. That's the only thing. It's 1.4G, but from the uh, the kit you wouldn't know. Uh, you got Strike Force there. That's um, another new one that I don't really know much about, but it's from Hallmark, so it's like their next level down. So 149.97 for that one. Noise rating 4 out of 10, so quite low. And the Sovereign box, that's again from Standard. That's like the middle pack, £135. Quite a high noise rating. It does have some aerial stuff in there, some shot tubes in there as well. So there are some bangs as well as some nice, um, there's a nice comic cake in there. You've got the Visage box, uh, classic from uh, Standard Fireworks there, 1494. Bit of an all-rounder that one. Um, Standard do do boxes quite well to be fair. Good reputation. Got Condra that's been out a good few years now. Some nice mines in that one. Um, actually, for for a small box, it's really quite punchy. To be fair, yeah, it's a good box. You have got the TNT box there. Gemini selection back again. Uh, this is fairly old stock now, um, but yeah, TNT do boxes okay. Fourteen ninety four. So more at the budget end. Small gardens, and then you've got the equalizer. So the smallest box. Or second smallest box on there, which is eleven ninety four. The the fountains there are going to be tiny. Um, I've got you've got a couple of shot tubes as well, uh, and a Roman candle in there. You've got Marvel, which is Epic's own brand, the family box. That's a decent box to be fair. Um, loads of different bits in there. I think there's a wheel in there as well, um, which most of the the small boxes don't seem to have anymore. You've got some fire there. That's the cheapest and smallest box, less than a tenner. Uh, for 1.4 G effects, uh, again just little low noise bits, noise rating there 2 out of 10. You've got the Superstar pack there, again another one from Marvel which is Epic's own brand. Again that has, uh, that. there's a glitter, you can see the glitter wheel in there. Uh, and you've got some uh, Roman candles as well but there's no rockets. And then there's the bigger Mega Party one which is I think the only one that does have rockets in. Uh, there for 100 quid. It's got some nice big fountains in it to be fair and some non-standard colours in some of the, the bigger fountains as well. You've got Dynasty there, that's the, the smallest premium pack that um, Standard have got in this range. 7 out of 10 noise rating. It's, it's, it's a good all-rounder as well. Got some nice cakes in there, 4 cakes in that pack. So fairly decent. Got fountains over here, so got Bellagio. If you can find that anywhere, get it because they're not bringing any more in. Uh, paparazzi fountain that's got a nice little flash thing where the uh, where the lens is there on that it's got a little strobe effect to it as well as it being a fountain that's a bit I love novelty pieces uh, you got the blue star eruption mine that's been out a few years from Hallmark lovely blues in there crackling as well um, yeah so that's quite punchy uh, the goblin fountain obviously the ears there on the goblin um, it's more of a fan effect and the eyes light up as well, the, the blue eyes. Uh, something to consider for uh, Halloween maybe as well. Sold out that one as well. So Illuminate fountain. Standard do make good fountains um, and good duration fountains as well. I uh, don't have any in info on that one. It's sold out anyway as is the... Uh, I don't know how you pronounce that to be fair but it's sold out so who cares. Glowing Lantern. Um, it's from Standard, um, I think that was out in the supermarkets a few years ago, and it's uh, Sister Fountain Trickster. You, if you pick them up, they're dead light, but actually, I thought they'd be rubbish when they fired them. Really good, but definitely worth checking out the video, but lots of crackle. Emoji Fountain there, obviously that's a light-up one as well, more of a novelty fountain. Um, I haven't seen a video of it, to be fair, so I don't actually know what it's like then they've got dragon fire another light up one with the eyes that's sold out loads of these have sold out so sadly the pumpkin fountain's gone you've got the vampire fountain there 
I'm going to try that one out this year, see what it's like. It's only 5.94, so it's worth a punt. You've got the Halo Fountain, as I remember, that's got quite a bit of crackling. Um, yeah, it's very crackle intensive, but good price there for five pound ninety four. Decent duration. Uh, Crazy Clown, standard fireworks. So again, it'll be a quality fountain, and it's got the light up eyes, and it's in stock, which is even better. You got the Spectrum Fountain, which is your jelly bean type fountain. Um, it doesn't have all the all the colours of the Spectrum in there, though, as I recall. Uh, you got the Peacock Fountain. That's good. Uh, just make sure you prop it with some bricks or something if you've got it high up because the wind will take that it feels very lightweight but actually it's a fantastic fountain you got fantasy there that's a, a fountain mine so it's got some uh, tricks up its sleeve um to be fair for the money that's that's good value you've got titanium fountain there from a black cat not familiar with what that one either to be fair um, but it's probably got a decent amount of powder in for the price Copper Rain, that's been fired this year. Chose that one over its sister fountain just because it's a bit different. Uh, some nice copper colours. So I'll give that one a go. You've got the sister fountain there, Silver Rain. So if you want something a bit brighter, maybe uh, go for that one. But I've gone with copper this year. So be interesting to see how that one goes. House Party down here. If you like novelty stuff, 11.94. I haven't tried that one, but I think the obviously the... the different windows light up as well which is quite cool i think you get some strobing effects as well um you've got star shower that's a bit of an all-rounder nice big conic fountain pretty sure that's got some crackle in as well but decent duration you've got some slightly smaller conics as well these are epic's own brand here marvel fireworks so you've got crackling you've got a gold one which isn't bad for a tenner to be fair and then the silver one as well um, but yeah, they're just, you know, there they won't be much colour to them. They are just as, as you would expect. you got that one there. I'm not going to pronounce it because I've no idea. And I don't want to make myself a wally. But yeah, 798 is a standard fountain. So I would imagine multi-effect, um, judging by the shape. Cobra tail. <laughs> I fired this earlier this year. It's uh, basically the firecrackers. Uh, but there's a bit of colour to them. Um, and then they've got a very big surprise at the end, which made me shake. Uh, you've got the Nukes of Hazard Fountain, that's out of the uh, Jonathan's uh, pack. Didn't know they sold it separately, but for £2.50, that's worth a punt, definitely. Great value. Tons of, these are unsung heroes. If they are excellent value for money. Um, you've got a red, a green, and a, a yellow, obviously. Silly me, because of the traffic cones. But yeah, really surprisingly big effects. This is new for this year. I'm going to try this one, the Whiz Wheel. Uh, should be called the Jimmy Wiz wheel, shouldn't it? Um, but it's a um, similar sort of design, I think, to the standard. Oh gosh, the smaller, sorry, the smaller Celtic wheel. If you can get this one, get this one. This is my favourite by Country Mile, six foot sparkle. Don't think there's a better uh, Catherine wheel on the market in the UK. And once this goes, that's it. It will be no more. So if you can find that, snap it up. And we're on to uh, Cannon Strike. So these are Roman candles from TNT. If I'm being honest, I personally prefer, and they are slightly cheaper, the Magic Stars. I just think they're nicer uh, Roman candles. Um, but yeah, they're all much of a muchness, to be fair. Um, so I, I personally go for them. You've got Supernova Rain. Don't think I've ever tried those ones, so can't comment on them. You've got the Recall Shot Tube. So these are single shot. I presume purple, green, blue, red, and repeated. You've got Air Patrol. I would imagine they are pretty much identical, if not the same, the same price as well. Sky Roars as well, so smaller ones. Not fired those ones, so I can't comment on those. However, Whizbang seemed to be a new one, and I fired them early in the year. They were very good. Gold Rush Mines, fantastic mines. Remind me of the old school Cube Mines. Got a lovely whistle to them. Then they explode. Obviously, you've got a gold and a silver, but they've got one's got red, one's got green. Uh, but yeah, definitely, if you've got uh, room in your budget in your back garden, have a look at those. Got the large control system. If you're just thinking about going a bit more pro in your display, then obviously they do their own little launch control system and the refill pack there. Something to play around with. Ice fountains, you can do a lot with those. There's the whiz wheel again. 
Uh, like I said, I think that's fairly new for this year, or certainly new for Epic this year. If you can get your hands on this, that's the one to go for, though. That's the one to beat. Never, never seen a better one. And then, obviously, they've got all sorts of different Sky Lanterns there. I won't get into the politics of those. Some people love them, some people don't. 